how to use quickbooks online hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use quickbooks online so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here as you can see i'm on their website quickbook.intuit.com and over here you can see this is their website now if you don't know what quickbooks is it's basically a accounting tool that can help you manage your and organize your business and it's simple and easy to use there are tons of features available within QuickBooks like you can hire accountants and bookkeepers as well like separate stuff from your main QuickBooks account and it's not free I do have to say so there is a pricing structure over here as you can see there are three pricing plans there is the simple start the essentials and the plus right let me scroll down here so this is the three pricing plans the simple one is five dollars per month the essential is almost $7.80 per month and the plus one is around $11 per month now you can save up to 70% because they're having a sale over here there is a timer for a week depends on you when you log in and over here are all the features available to it so as you can see you have you can track your income expenses you can send customers invoices and quotes connect your bank gst and vat insight and report capture and organize receipts and progress invoicing and for one user plus your accountant so this is for one user only and your accountant nothing else and over here the essential ones you can manage bills and payments track your employees multi-currency and this is for three users and plus your accountant and over here we have the plus one you get all of the features from the previous plan you get recurring transactions and bill track your inventory track project profitability manage budget and this is for five users plus your accountant as well so keep that in mind these were the features available to it you can go ahead and pause this video or come onto their website and see for yourself now there is a free trial available over here so let's go ahead and sign up now the sign up process is very simple so over here you have to enter in your email address first name last name your phone number and your password and that's it then you can go ahead and sign up and once you're done that they're going to instantly install your profile update the database and over here as you can see if you wait for a couple of seconds you are good to go and then you just tell them about your business enter in the legal name of your business the industry what type of business do you have and how long have you been in the business and then you simply click on the next button and then you select your role into the business you're either the owner bookkeeper accountant employee or something else and then just simply click on next and if you choose any of these options you will get different options right below so if you choose the owner it'll ask you do you have an accountant or bookkeeper but if you choose bookkeeper or accountant of course they won't ask you that because you are already the accountant or bookkeeper and if you have employee do you have an accountant or bookkeeper then you get these options so depending upon you just choose whatever you want and do you have an account or bookkeeper right now no i do it all myself no but i would like to yes someone helps me i don't have one nor do i do it myself but sure we'll say no but i like to help then just simply click on next and what would you like to do in quickbooks so over here is basically what you would like to do in your and then next they will ask you what would you like to do in your quickbooks account and you just choose whatever you want and just simply click on done so sending and tracking invoices organizing your expensive tracking your sales tax tracking your retail sales paying your employees manage inventory track your bills all of that so we'll just say we don't need to organize our expenses uh, we'll just choose this one and this one yeah and then just simply click on next and there you go you are done and now here are your options so this is your desk this is your dashboard on the left hand side you have all of your other options and on here in the center you have your main options as well you have your shortcuts you can add your shortcuts over here so you have adding customers adding estimates adding invoices receive payments and adding expenses and checks as well over here you can discover more you can you have like tips and tricks you have your bank accounts over here you can add your bank account over here you can go to register or you can connect your account these are the things to get done then you have your business overview your business you can see it in the flow chart and reports it all depends on you so over here as you can see money in this month money out 
all of that. You also have your reports, which are similar. And then you have your bookkeeping as well. Over here, if you click on bookkeeping, you have your transactions over here, bank transactions, sales, expenses. You have your roles right here. Then you have your chart of accounts. And then you have your experts, reconciles, all of that. You have a bunch of different options that you can add. You will have your employees down here. You know, customers and leads are going to be over here. Taxes. And if you click on more, you can add more apps as well. And then you have an app section where you can add different apps as well. So in employees, of course, you have no employees and you can add them by just simply clicking on add an employee button right here. You can add in their title, their first name, last name, their email, uh, display name, phone number, employee ID number, employee ID, gender, all of that stuff, all the details. And you can add them. And once you've added them, they will appear over here. You can assign different roles to them. You can pay them. You can keep track of all of your different employees as well. It's overall a very good software. You can keep track of everything over here. And you don't even necessarily have to do this. You, Of course, you can get your accountant to do all of these things for you. It just makes less headache. And over here in Get Paid and Pay, you can import your customers list or you can add customers manually. It all depends on you. So let's go ahead and add a customer and an employee. So in employees, we're going to click on employees and we're going to add one as well. We're going to fill it out, you know, X, Y, Z. So there you go. We have added an employee. Let's go ahead and add a customer now. So we'll just simply click on add customer manually over here. And over here, we have to add in all these details that we want. Notes, tax, payments, billing, languages, attachments, anything that we have and fill it out. So now we have these many customers. Now I added a fake, you know, uh, CSV file. So that's why they look weird. But yeah, this is how it is. And you can go ahead and send them out. So these are the customers. You can receive your payments as well. You simply click over here on to receive payments. And then you can add all of the payment details. You can add the outstanding transactions or whatever. And you can send out the payments or you can clear them as well. Now, you can either get paid or pay. It depends on you. You can pay the supplier. You can get paid from the customer and product services as well. It's very simple, very easy. You can keep your bookkeeping over here. And pretty simple. This is how you use it. Nothing too crazy. I'm pretty sure even if you don't know how to use it, you can get your accountant to do all of these things. But once you start using it, it looks pretty easy and feels pretty easy. You just add in all these different details and then you can go ahead and see where you're making money and losing money as well. So pretty simple. This is how you use QuickBooks online. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then, take care and goodbye.